Do you really need a real estate agent when you are buying a home? The short answer is no. Homes do change hands without buyer's agents involved every day. And I'll tell you how to get your offer accepted without using a buyer's agent in just a few minutes, but there are some misconceptions involved with going agentless as a buyer in this market. Now, one of the most common misconceptions is that you are more likely to get an offer accepted if you're not using a buyer's agent because the listing agent or the seller gets to actually walk away with more money in their pocket Pocket because they're saving on commission that would have gone to a buyer's agent. Now this thought process is just a side effect of many real estate agents being legitimately terrible at their jobs. If my mom can be a real estate agent, then literally anyone in the world can. And also a side effect of buyers thinking that buying a home is the same as buying a used lawnmower on Craigslist. And believe me, I know there is no shortage of really absolutely garbage real estate agents out there working in the market. I see them every single day. But in this specific situation, you need to be focused on the good real estate agents. Nine out of 10 homes for sale are listed by agents. And in a competitive, low inventory market where there are not many listings available to begin with, the listing agents who are getting their hands on those properties and representing those sellers are going to be some of the better real estate agents in the business. It is absolute pandemonium. Ones that have been able to survive more challenging markets where not many homes are changing hands to begin with. And from the perspective of an agent who also lists homes in a competitive market, multiple offer situations are extremely common at the purchase price points where people might consider not using a buyer's agent. Also, as listing agents, we understand that strong offers and high offers can be very different things. Yeah. And our job involves identifying the strongest offers for our clients based on multiple factors. And that does include the purchase price and what our seller's net profit is, but it also includes things like down payment amount, closing timelines, any contingencies, and something that many people outside of the industry don't realize is a factor, the agent on the buyer's side of the transaction. Generally speaking, if offer terms are somewhat similar among the top two or three strongest offers in a multiple offer situation, we as listing agents are likely going to recommend to our sellers that they accept an offer from a buyer who is using a very experienced buyer's agent because we know that that buyer's agent is going to be properly setting their clients expectations they're going to be great communicators they're going to be excellent transaction coordinators and they're going to know how to partner with listing agents to create the smoothest transaction possible for all parties involved a listing agent's going to be considering a buyer's agent's reputation in the market if they've been around for a while chances are they're going to have heard of them anyway I've never even heard of your little agency. And if they've never heard of this agent coming to the table before, they're going to be looking at how they're communicating. This is the last postman. Who is this? This is Flaming Dragon! Oh, okay. Flaming Dragon. F face. They want to make sure that this agent views the transaction as a partnership between the agents as much as it is a partnership between the agents and their respective clients. They both have to make their clients happy here and they're not gonna do it by viewing this as a my side versus your side transaction. This is a partnership between the agents and their communication and interaction leading up to the offer and after the offer is going to tell the listing agent a lot about how the buyer's agent views this transaction. And this isn't about listing agents only accepting offers from agents that they like in the market. It's about getting their sellers to their goals and those sellers goals are always going to include a smooth trip to the closing table now unless a buyer is a real estate investor that's scooping up five properties a year if they're coming to the table without a real estate agent that is telling the listing agent a couple of things are likely even if they're not true first of all this buyer has probably never dealt with a truly qualified agent before and therefore doesn't see the value in real estate agents and probably doesn't trust any of them that also means they have no idea what to expect as a transaction unfolds, even though they probably act like they do. They're also more likely to push back on stupid little piddly shit, like things that come up at the home inspection that are really not big issues. And they're probably gonna be egotistical know-it-alls that create drama where there isn't any, just so they can have some small sense of victory in a market that is very unforgiving for buyers. Listing agents already have to educate the sellers on the entire transaction process, coordinate with the seller's family, stagers, photographers, marketers, appraisers, cleaners, movers, attorneys, inspectors, and the town water, sewer, and fire departments. They generally don't 
don't also want to have to hold a buyer's hand step by step through the entire transaction process, set up property visits, and also coordinate with loan officers, banks, and attorneys that they have never even worked with before. And they have to make sure the communication is happening between everyone on the buyer's side of the transaction as well. It usually ends up being 10 times the work for the listing agent and 10 times the headaches because the buyers don't have an agent that's there to guide them through their side of the transaction. And we love working with buyer clients, but we also understand the list of things that that job actually entails. And we also understand that there's a list of problems that could possibly arise for our buyers. And that's why we're there to help them avoid those problems and present solutions to problems that we didn't see coming. Listing agents are there to serve the sellers. They're not going to try to convince their own clients to accept an offer that's going to be 10 times more of a headache and 10 times less likely to close, especially since many of those agents just charge their sellers the same fee, whether a buyer's agent is involved or not. So it may not affect the seller's bottom line at all. And unless that agent is a complete scumbag, they're not going to be sitting there telling their seller client to accept an offer just because their commission check is going to be larger. And those scumbag bridge burning agents aren't the ones getting listings in this market. So the idea that sellers and listing agents are more likely to accept an offer if there is no buyer's agent involved is based on the same idea that any agent with a listing is a complete piece of who's just in it for the money and is going to ignore all of the other factors at hand. Speaking of other factors, an experienced buyer's agent isn't the only factor in a strong offer. So if you don't wanna use a buyer's agent in a competitive market, here's how to get your offer accepted. Have the listing agent draft up an all cash offer with no inspection or mortgage contingency, a closing timeline that works best for the seller, and a massive non-refundable earnest money deposit. That will tell the listing agent that you are a serious buyer that's not around and you wanna to get to the closing table as soon as possible with no BS renegotiations. Because if you're coming to the table without a buyer's agent in a market like this, that listing agent has already predetermined that you are more clueless than some of the agents out there. Or just let me know if you wanna get an offer accepted. We'll share our complete buyer's guide with you and show you how we help our buyers win homes in this market.